first, you need a GameCube controller and a USB GameCube adapter. You can get one from our corporate overlords over at Amazon, or if you're brave enough, you can enter Meet Space and barter one from your local merchant. When it comes to GameCube adapters, anything and everything works, but when it comes to controllers, buy any official models. Then go to slippy.gg, download the launcher, create an account with a tasteful moniker, and set up whatever else you need in order to make your piece of shit Linux work with Slippy. Oh! Now you'll need the game. Thanks to decades of propaganda and jingoistic foreign policy, all competitive melees played on copies directly from Burgerland. If, for some reason, you're unable to acquire a copy of Freedom Brothers Melee that you can transcribe to an ISO with the help of expensive hardware that no actual human owns, then don't worry. Simply go to blippy.gg and locate your nearest cell of melee-playing human beings and beseech them for help. At least one of these wise elders will have the hexes and chakra alignment needed to legitimately and legally acquire an NTSC melee ISO. Now you have all this, I expect you're bursting at the seams to jump into online play and schmix and schmoove on some shmups, but don't rush things. Take it easy. Relax. You're scaring the hose. Navigate to the two-player versus mode, set the stock count to 99, and set player 2 fox to a CPU with the mental capabilities of a real-life fox that was hit by the truck driven by the overworked and underpaid Amazon worker who rushed to deliver your gaming peripherals. <gasps> now it's time to pick your character! This can be extremely daunting, but by and large pick these characters if you want a character that's high risk, high reward, with precise execution and massive damage, but you're easy to kill once you're off stage. You want a character with less demanding movement in exchange for a slightly less explosive punish game. You want whatever the fuck this is. You're a crazy person. <laughs> If you're a sadistic, unstable, spiteful person who enjoys the suffering of others, if you want a character capable of systematically breaking down the mind of your opponent, forcing them to reveal the worst possible sides of themselves, then you can pick Puff. Use whatever character you pick to torment the CPU fox until it wishes the Amazon driver finished the job. Try out a bunch of different characters, just move around with them. See who feels right. Now, go to Twitter, Go to your favorite player's account and block them. Then block Vish, block Pipsqueak, Leffen, Toph, Mango Fiction, Moki, block everyone who follows them and everyone they follow. Delete your Twitter account, destroy your phone, join a woodworking class, spend weeks developing the skill to build a chair with your bare hands, then sit on this chair to practice your wave dash. Wave dash by jumping and then air dodging diagonally into the ground. Dash dance by flicking the stick left and right without getting stuck during the turnaround. Lag cancel by pressing a shield button just before landing after doing an aerial. Those are the quote unquote essential techniques, but there's infinite resources out there showing you how to execute different techniques. I've linked a few of them below. Seasoned melee players watching might be thinking, that's not an adequate explanation of L cancelling. I have your IP address logged and I am heading to your house in real life, to give you a swirly. You can't shield drop or perfect pivot your way out of being a goddamn nerd. Once you feel somewhat comfortable doing these things, jump into a game of unranked and get four stocked. The trick here is to not give up. You are an animal, a warrior. There is a saber toothed tiger after you and your family. And that saber toothed tiger has a gun. So get back out there and get four stocked again. Melee is a hard game. There's no getting around that. You can play for decades and still suck. It's demanding, frustrating, and there isn't a fast pass to getting better. And while that may be daunting, all of that makes it feel even better when you improve just a tiny bit. When you get that first win, or when your movement is just a tiny bit crispier than it was yesterday. Now that you've played a bit, there's only one step left. Go to that Discord server you joined earlier, check the upcoming tournaments channel, and sign up for one. We live in a world where increasingly communication and relationships are things that happen online. While Melee has always been and remains a diverse and welcoming community built around in-person experiences and interactions, something that statistically we could all use a bit more of. Did you enjoy that? Well. Congratulations! Your life is now ruined and no other game will ever be fun again. You're welcome!